We're going to crank that up. All right, here we go. Let's see. Drive it over. Now let's just watch. Hey guys, welcome back to Terra Tech with me, Townsend. How are you doing today? I'm doing pretty good. I hope you're doing pretty good. If you guys like today's episode, please like and share as you see fit. If you haven't already, please subscribe. We're back in the R&D test chamber here because there's been uh, a couple of comments. I think I've, <laughs> I'm pretty sure they're right. Uh, I've seen it myself where it seems like uh, the disc lasers, the FS laser and the cyber disc laser ignore shields and kind of burn right through them, right? Like, uh, I think they do drain the shield a little bit, but the, the laser does go through and uh, deals damage to the blocks immediately. Kind of like a railgun, right? Um, the railgun does hit the, the shield, but it still passes through and hits the, the target on the other side. So uh, that's more or less what we're gonna try here to begin with. Also, uh, what I wanna take a look at is the better future uh, right here, the air receiver. I wanna check that out. And it looks like there's been a couple of other blocks that have been uh, painted or Given paint, I guess, or a faction. Uh, plasma flamethrower is now is it in here yet? No. But obviously it has a better future paint job on it. So it's probably going to be in there. And then this one, which I can't remember what it does, is no longer, it no longer exists. So who knows what's going on there? Are they adding it into the game and they're just making some tweaks to it? Or are they going to remove it completely? Not 100% sure. And I believe in the last episode I was talking about this block here, the Geocorp Active All Access Heavy Gyro. That isn't, yeah, obviously now Geocorp. <laughs> but yeah, I do want to take a look at a couple of different things today. And this is, we're going to try this experiment with the disc laser, or the FS laser, and then the disc laser also. So here is our, I guess our tech that we're going to attack. Now we might have to redo this a couple of times because the FS laser, obviously we've, had issues with it aiming um, it doesn't like to be very close to the target and it seems like it has to be a straight straight line of attack if it has to aim down uh, it's like hit or miss whether or not it's gonna work we'll find out but yeah we are using the <laughs> better future shield bubble better future battery and the solar panel now I'm gonna remove the solar panel because the battery is full we'll jump over to this tech right away and we'll just get started immediately here so we'll turn this into a bad tech or enemy tech and we'll see what happens here I'll try and get a sideways view on it uh, it's one of the okay hold on we will like that stop it we'll actually repair enemy tech here and put that back on there I'll go over here to this guy and we'll just adjust some things here. Hopefully that's better. If not, we'll have to lift it up and move it farther away, right? So, uh, does it look like everything's working over here? Everything is a full charge. We'll get, get rid of the repair bubble. Get rid of the solar panel. Back over here. Sideways view if we can. This is going to be harder and harder the further it gets away. We... there. All right, here we go. Let's see. So it is ignoring the shield altogether. It's not even draining the battery, as you guys can see there. Let's see, though. Uh, let's put that back, that. I want to see if... Uh, oh, what is it? The armor? Or putting any kind of plating in front will help us out. It should, obviously, because armor is armor. But I want to see if it'll delay the attack by much. Or delay, I guess, the the laser burning through quickly. Because <laughs> it didn't take that long to actually destroy the cab, right? Um, okay, what was I talking about? Armor plating. There we go. Like that. That. Battery's full. Jump back over to our tech here. I think we are in that one. Okay. Uh, oh, we have to get rid of the repair bubble. It's that one. There we go. And... So, yeah. 
it, it works really well, uh, obviously, other than when it has to aim at any other angle. The moment it has to aim down, it's kind of useless. It barely even touched the shield, only probably when it first passed through, and then... No. It's only hitting the shield... No, it hit it for a couple of seconds there. Alright, but it doesn't deal a ton of damage to the shield, like... For example... Let us go with... I guess just any other type of weapon, right? Go with the Hawkeye. Auto cannon. Just because I like it. And boom. Wow. I wonder, did they upgrade the auto cannon? Because that drained the battery like in seconds. But uh, alright, so we'll try this again. Really quickly here. Should actually get a skew out. Yeah, and we'll try it with the cyber disc laser. Just so we can... Because I know the cyber disc laser seems to have a better... It aims better than what uh, that one does. The disc laser. I want to make sure that it's pointing the right way. Obviously, the arrow on top tells us that. And I should have... Oh, man. <gasps> Hit the wrong button. I wanted to load an attack. Uh, there we go. Boy attack. Boy right there. Now, unfortunately, uh, I know that there's going to be some speculation about distance. We'll try and... Get it to be about the exact same distance from the other one, but, uh, yeah, there's, I think that's about the same. I guess we could go closer. Go a little bit closer. Anchor it in. That looks about right. So we'll just give us some time here to fill up the battery, and then we'll attempt this. Again, to see if the cyber disc laser ignores the shield also. And it cuts right into the blocks. Alright, there we go. So we'll get rid of the solar panels. Jump into this tech. And... I guess deploy it. Look. Here we go. Yep, pretty much the exact same results. So, yeah, the, the disc lasers ignore the shields altogether. I guess all in all, I would use the cyber disc lasers. Versus the FS lasers, right? Uh, just, I'm sure they're probably going to work on the targeting. But I wouldn't assume that that's how they want the lasers to work. You know, only to work at certain angles. So I'd assume that they're probably going to be working on them. But I want to go over to the resources here. Uh, if we aren't being followed. Which we're not at the moment. And what we're going to do is check out the... Yeah, Better Future Air Receiver. With this... I guess we can put it there, so just in case nobody saw the last episode. It says the air receiver is the first of all great receivers, but it can also be mounted on a flying tech and grab chunks that have been shot up towards it by a deliver cannon from below. It's kind of a vague statement, so it's, this might take a couple of uh, test runs on it. Because it says on a flying tech, obviously. And then up from below so what i'm gonna do is we're gonna build a tower more or less and we're gonna put a uh deliver cannon just below it we'll destroy some of these resources and we'll see if the deliver cannon will shoot it straight up or if there's you know something else we're missing here but either way let me build this tower and then we'll try and figure this out all right so it is getting a little dark here hopefully it doesn't get too too dark in uh in the game uh what's going on here i guess we're heavy in the front but anyways i made it just this really simple tiny tech uh with just the thimble collector. And then obviously we have a GSO delivery cannon here. With a conveyor belt delivered or feeding it. And then I built this tech. Little tower. Now what I want to see obviously. When we fire from the delivery cannon. Well this. The very first receiver pad. Grab it. Or grab the resource that was shot up to it. And then hopefully it goes down onto the. The conveyor belt and then is fed into the mini silo which really doesn't matter in any of this part uh but i want to see if uh what happens right because usually when you put a resource into a delivery cannon it's sold when it's fired it's sold right so does the game know that it's not being sold and it's being shot up into uh an air receiver and how high can we go with the receivers right like i went pretty high here um 
what is it? Each one of these blocks is, I believe, the Geoco Brug Girder is four tall. I believe it is. Four blocks. One, two, three, four. Yeah. So, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So we're nine high, and then there's obviously one block in each one. So, uh, what is that? 36, 37, 38, 39, 40, 41, 42, 43, 44, 45 ish blocks high. I might be off a little bit there. Uh, actually, I am because of the anchor and blah, 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 all that other stuff. But this is what I want to start with, and uh, we'll take a look at it right now. So, this is pretty simple. Two resources. Well, that's cheating, isn't it? Okay, we'll get rid of that one because instantly the, that receiver grabbed it. <laughs> yeah, there's three. Yeah, I'm not liking this. <laughs> the resources keep getting grabbed like immediately. So that could be a really good um, thing for us though. Okay, hold on. Oh, well, they jumped two receivers immediately, huh? Now, let's just get rid of that one. And let's try this again. I find that kind of interesting that it uh, skipped... Uh, the resources skipped two air receivers. All right, so I think we're uh, kind of causing a little bit of a glitch here with all these different air receivers, but it does seem to... The game does realize that there is an air receiver directly above the, the delivery cannon, and therefore is not uh, giving us any revenue for putting those blocks in there, or putting the resources in there. But let's see how high... Like, can we get resources all the way up to the top here? I'm, I'm guessing... It looks like they've done a really good job of building this, or making this, so I have a feeling it probably will work, but we'll see. Okay, so, now we've maxed it out, because they are... Oh, man. It does look like, uh, yeah, we were... Or actually, we can go like this. And we'll see here, because it does look like the resource is passing through this, these ones. So there is a height limitation. All right. So what it looks like, at least. Because uh, if we put that one back. Hmm. Why can't we repeat this, uh, the experiment over and over here? Like this. Let's try this one more time. Because this resource collector, or is, yeah, the resource collector patch should grab it. Does it have to be lower? Okay, I'm lost here. Now everything's changed. All right, so that seems to be the limit. I think the reason that we were getting resources up this high is because we actually were kind of, I guess, glitching the game in a sense by having multiple receivers. Well, let's see. Let's go like that. Oops. All right. <laughs> go like this. Ah, oh, come on. Don't be like that. Don't be like that. All right, we got to go down here. Let's, uh... Like this. Hmm. We'll include the one GSO block, so 5, 10, 15. Yeah, we'll say 20 blocks, plus what would you say for the anchor? 22, plus another, let's say, 2 on the bottom there. So 24 blocks of high. Not bad. Uh, let's do something also here really quickly. 
Where is it? Let me build a hover tech, and I want to see how high we can actually get it to hover off the ground. All right, so this is super simple. Uh, more or less, we have... I'm using... What is it? The, the Better Future Anti-Gravity Eco Engine. Uh, hold on. we got to give it some power here. Like that. I did put four stabilizing computers on here. It looks like you only actually need one uh, for it to work. We're using a gyro... Uh, yeah, pitch trim gyro. And then... What is it, the uh, large hover rings? Just so that, you know, we kind of have like maximum power here. So we're just gonna get a little bit of power going. Because I see those batteries charging up. All right, they're charging up. So then we'll go like this. Change hover power and we'll max it out. Well, the highest resource is we Odd other than this one that was just kind of odd is right here so let's see uh we're gonna need some conveyor belts doesn't really matter i guess and we'll go like this yeah i guess we got to put something down below right put a cab on that and we'll I wonder, because the tech is hovering, right, it's up so high, when we try and put the delivery cannon in here, is it, does it give us a, like, a wide area? Like, you don't have to be exact with it, be directly below it? So let's hope not, because I'm sure that we are not above it, or directly above it. Alright, so, where's one, a resource that we can steal from? So let's go grab some resources here. Uh, let's get rid of this back. It's a max hover. It doesn't work. Uh, so let's turn down the power just a little bit. Okay, so that should be definitely one higher than, or what, five blocks higher than what we had before, right? So we'll get some more resources. Gotta keep doing this over and over until we get the same result-ish, roughly. Gotta be roughly the same, because it's not gonna be perfect in the world, right? The world is up and down, everything's flat here, so. It's still not working. So let's lower our hovercraft down to roughly this level here. I guess we could go down just a little bit more. I'd say that's pretty close there. The overall height. Get some more resources. Oh, you know what? We should actually put... Uh, oh, there probably is, right? An altimeter on that on this tech 78 feet there we go oh uh, see that's not good but well, that ring has to be perfectly above it otherwise it just uh, fires resources right past hmm that could be dangerous especially if you come in with like a massive harvest and your tech is doing this where it's swinging, right? Hmm. You could lose, you could make a lot of money or you could lose a lot of resources that way, right? Especially if you're not paying attention. If you're down here in this tech and you're like, oh yeah, I'm just gonna, you know, fill up my base there. So let's uh, fire a bunch of, oh, you know what we should also do? Actually here, we'll do a couple of things here. So, I know I'm all over the place right now, but this is kind of interesting. Uh, I'm just trying to find more resource collector pads. With that. Let's load up on some... Some resources here. There we go. Now, before we go back, what I want to do is... There is... Fair belts. There we go.
go like that, and then we'll something like that. So obviously it is changing the pitch of everything, but we're gonna crank that up. All right, here we go. Let's see. Drive it over. Now let's just watch. Oh, also. And I crashed the game. <laughs> All right, so I rebuilt everything, kind of. <laughs> I'm hoping that uh, we don't crash the game this time, but uh, I have, I think, we're roughly right where we were before with the resource collectors. Uh, I mean, uh, not the resource collectors, the hover pad uh, power. We'll see uh, with the first couple of shots. I did use two anchor blocks because, like I told you guys, if you use one anchor block, you have the chance of rotating. If you use two, uh, the second one will actually kind of hold you in place, right? Uh, it will stop your tech from spinning. It can still spin left to right, but here we'll kind of take ourselves out of here. So then you go like that, now let go, and it kind of pulls you back to where it's supposed to be. It takes a while. Um, obviously that isn't perfect, right? But it does help. It helps hold you in place, and I'm guessing we're relatively right over top of the, the delivery cannon here. Now also with the air receiver, as you guys can see, there's quite a collection area. So we'll see what happens here. Now we do have a pacemaker block on the bottom here to the delivery cannon. And I did put a pacemaker block on uh, our conveyor belt up at the, uh, up at the top uh, with our floating tech or our hover tech. Uh, and now we'll just get some resources. All right, we'll back up. What I want to see is bug report. So pretty much this shows you the exact same thing. Um, the reason that it's crashing and we're going to stay here for a second. The reason that it's crashing is because the game can't keep up with the amount of resources that we're about to fire at it. Um, I'm sure if we repeated this or did the exact same thing, uh, but without the pacemaker block, it would just be fine. But with the pacemaker block, it feeds way too quickly into the delivery cannon and it fires too many up. Uh, we will send it so that TerraTech can hopefully fix it. So we figured that out. We crashed the game a couple of times and uh, yeah. <laughs> but uh, that's going to do it for this episode, you guys. So if you guys like the episode, please leave a like, leave a comment. If you haven't already, please subscribe and I'll see you guys in the next one.